Hey, this is Ryan from Geek.com, and we're going to take another look at Android 5.0 Lollipop today. Uh, specifically right now, we're going to look at how to use Android Beam on this version of the platform. Uh, Android Beam has existed for years now, but it's been sort of hidden away uh, in, the, in the settings. You would just hold two devices together, and sometimes they would do stuff. Something would transfer, maybe. Not very many things. Uh, but now in 5.0, it's a lot more robust. So here's what you can do. Um, you can transfer any kind of file. So I'm just in a file browser right now. Any place you can access the Android sharing menu, you can get to Android Beam pretty easily. So it's right there in, in the list, Android Beam. I just selected an APK file. It's, you know, it could be any file. It doesn't just have to be a picture anymore. So we will select Beam. And there we go, and it's sending the beam. Uh, and so obviously the device that I'm sending it to is an LG G3, which is still running KitKat. Uh, you just have to send it from uh, these sort of, you know, whatever file type you want from a device that's running Lollipop. So it's still kind of slow. It's going over Bluetooth. Um, you know, Google hasn't added any sort of Wi-Fi direct uh, ability to to Beam, but uh, it's just a lot easier to get, you know, to get files from one device to another. If you don't have to worry about what they are or how you're sharing them with Beam, you just select it from the list and tap phones together. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching.